Let us try to understand how to describe pattern rules and also how to find pattern rules. Now here we have an example. It says how to find decreasing pattern rules. Now we are given input output data. Input is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and goes up to 20 let us say. Okay. And the output is 100, 98, 96, 94 and so on. Now we need to describe this input output pattern. Now this is kind of an open-ended question. Now you can describe it in so many different ways and let us see different ways in which it can be described. For example, let's start with input. Now how will you write or describe the pattern of inputs? Well we can see input starts at 0 and goes to 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's a whole number increasing by 1. So that is how we can describe input, right? So we can say input pattern we can describe as start at the number 0, increase by 1 each time. So that way we can describe inputs. How about the outputs? For the outputs, we can say, well, the numbers are 100, 98, 96, 94. So, as far as output is concerned, it starts at 100 and then decreases by 2 each time, right? So, that is what we can write about the pattern. As you can see, if you go from 100 to 98, it is minus 2. And then again, if you go from 98 to 96, it is again minus 2. So this pattern repeats. In a way, it is minus 2 each time. So that way, you can separately describe what is your input pattern and what is your output pattern. Now what can you say about both input and output? That means, if an input is given to you, how do you know what output will result. That is a very interesting part of patterns. Now let's look into that. That is to say, if I input 0, I get output of 100. If I input 1, I get an output of 98. And if I input 4, what output should I get? Well, if you see the pattern, it is decreasing by 2 and therefore, for 4 as an input, I should get output of 2 less than 94. That means 92, since I have to decrease minus 2. Well, that was easy. But how can I get the output for 20? Well, one way is you can continue this pattern and write up to 20 and you will know what is this number. But that may take a lot of time. Imagine if I write 200, then how will you get to this? It will take even longer. Is there a shorter way of doing it? That is what we'll look into now. Okay, how to get that way? So, I will teach you how to get this number directly from 20 itself. That is where pattern rules come into picture, right? So, we have to define a rule so that with that rule, we can get output corresponding to any input. Okay, let's find the rule now. Important thing is that output is decreasing by 2. So minus 2 has to do something about it. Yes, it has to. If I do 1 times minus 2, what do I get? I get minus 2. How do I get 98 and minus 2? Well, I have to take it away from 100 to get 98. That gives me a rule. So I can say my output is equal to 100 minus 2 times input. Well, will it work every time? Let me check. Let me check for number 4 itself. With 4 as an input, it will be what? Let me check. So, let me write for 5. Why not? Let's write for 5. For 5, it should be 100 minus 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10. So, I should get 90. Does it work? 
92 minus 2 is 90. It works. It works. Well, then in that case, it should work for 20, 200 or any other number. So let's see, what should I get for 20? Well, let's calculate. For 20, it should be 100. Take away 2 times 20. That is 100. Take away 2 times 20 is 40. And 100 take away 40 is 60. That should be number here. Why don't you check it out? Write all the numbers up to 20 in this input and all the numbers in the output and check it out for yourself. You will get this as the right answer. Now, I hope you understand how we get the formula. So it's a very important formula and so useful. The technique is 0 equals to what? 100, that is the starting number. If we get 0 equals to a number, it is kind of easy. You can always start with that number and then you know, take away 2 each time. So you have to mul multiply by minus 2 the input number and get the rule. So whenever you are starting at 100, I mean starting with input of 0 and you have your numbers, then that is the best way to do it. See. By how much are you decreasing? Well, it works for increasing also. If it was 102, 104, it will work that way. In that case, the formula will be, or the rule will be, 100 plus 2 times input. Try it out with some examples and check it for yourself. I hope that helps you. So we'll have few questions where you will have to apply your technique which you've learned just now and write different kinds of pattern rules. So what you've learned here is that a pattern rule can be described in so many ways and if you get an open-ended question like we started with in that case describe it in all possible ways describe how the input varies how the output varies how they are interconnected and given some number which is a big number or out of the list then how can you find output for that particular number okay now tell me something, if I have a number in the output as 50, then can you find the input for that? That means the reverse thing. Well, that is an exercise for you to do. Try it out and let me know the answer. Thank you and all the best.